What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, IGB fam. And, you know, we back again with another video, y'all. I just want to take a moment and, you know, appreciate everyone that fucks with me. And I just want to say thank you to everyone, you know. Um, thank you, God, most importantly, for everything that I have in life. But um, today's video is just going to be me, you know, speaking to the younger generation and just airing some shit out. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Sign it up for your boy, as always. Watch the video thoroughly, please, and thank you. So, yeah. Um, you know, I'm not really the type of person to come on the camera and talk about my emotions, my feelings, none of that. I've never been the type of person to actually even talk about my emotions at all. Like, you could ask anybody around me that grew up around me or anything. Like, I all have the same facial expression, like, no matter what. I all have the same facial expression because, you know, as a man, when you go through shit, you know, ain't nobody going to be there for you. Like, some people might be there for you, but, like, you know, you're a man. People going to use shit against you, and sometimes you don't even want to put yourself in that predicament or shoes. you just like, fuck it. You'll thug it on your own, you feel me? And, like, truly, to the younger generation, I just want to say, like, any type of generation, you know, older than me, younger than me, whatever it is, you know, every day is a learning day, you feel me? Every day, you know, you're going to go out there, you're going to learn something new. And um, always outwork the other man or female beside you. Like, do the things that people is not willing to do, you feel me? Like, nobody's willing to wake up at 6 a.m. to do four or five videos, reaction videos, whatever it is, YouTube, whatever it is that you want to do. But, like, do the things that the next person besides you is not willing to do. You feel me? Because, like, it's going to make you uncomfortable. And being uncomfortable in situations is going to build character. And to build character, you feel me? That's what we all want to do is build our character and build who we are and find ourselves. And honestly, right now, y'all, I can say I don't know where my head's at. Uh, I honestly don't know how to feel anymore. I mean, like, there be days, you know, I feel some. Some days I feel nothing. And, like, you know, it's like, I don't want nobody to feel something for, for me or nothing because, you know, I put myself in these type of situations and it is what it is. I mean, I guess that's the only really way I can put it. But, like, you know, some days I really don't feel nothing. Like, it's like to the point where I feel empty. It's like someone could ask me how I'm doing. I don't know how I feel because I truly don't know how I feel anymore. It's like... I'm just here living at this point, and like, you know, um, it sucks, but that's the only thing I really can do, because I, I truly don't know how to feel anymore, like, you know, I try to write poetry or whatever to, like, ease my pain and shit, but, I mean, it helps, you know, here and there, but truly, I just want to hug, that's it, but, it's like, I'm hurt down, you know, I try to be that person that helps everybody more than I help myself, because that's the type of person I've always been, is like, you know, help one another, because, you know, the next person might have it way worse than you in that situation, whatever situation they're in, they might have it 20 times X worse than you, but like, you know, sometimes when you help people too much, it's like, they feed, like, you know the hand that you feed, it's like, they just keep biting and it's to the point where you have nothing. And, like, I'm at that point where I completely have nothing. Like, there's really nothing I can do. Like, you know, I try to make videos for y'all or whatever, but, like, there's nothing I can do. It's like I'm at a loophole where I can't do nothing. I got to constantly wake up and just think, you know, how fucked up my life is and how fucked up I've met, how badly I messed up. And, you know, it sucks, but I just got to keep my head up and keep pushing through, you know. I try. I really did try. You know, I try to be there for people, you know. Like, I always try to make...
make somebody else smile because, you know, that makes me smile seeing other people around me happy, but I'm not happy. It's like, I haven't been happy for years, but, you know, ain't nobody going to know that because, you know, I don't talk about it, you know. I don't know how to feel anymore, y'all. I really don't. I mean, I try to clear my head, you know, take walks. I pray, you know, it's like everything I do, I just feel like nothing's working, and it's like, you know, I can't pick up the phone and call someone because, you know, it's like, I don't want to hear that, you know, like that cracking voice in someone's voice. It's like, that shit hurts because you're the reason why, you know, they're going through that pain, but they also don't realize, you know, how much pain and baggage you got on. And like, you know, lost everything I, I literally lost everything this year like you know this year I had a lot going for myself my clothes brand I love I had to sell everything and like all it takes is just one wrong move and I did that one wrong move and it's like chess everything just scattered and like now I'm trying to you know get shit back but I can't really get nothing back if I have no starting point I mean like like but my message to anybody out there you know that's going through depression or whatever it is in life you're not alone you know um, keep fighting up, you're gonna get through it, and um, just find find yourself before you lose yourself, you feel me, and um, you know, we're gonna lose ourselves in the process, you know, we're human, we have emotions, it's gonna happen, we're gonna lose ourselves, we're gonna do things out of control, but you can control what tomorrow looks like, and the one ne- what the next five years of your life looks like. You can control that. Don't settle for what society wants you to settle for. You know, like, don't settle for what your family thinks, you know, is good for you. If you have a dream, go get that dream. That's all I really can say. I mean, I don't really know what else to say to y'all. I mean, all the emotions I'm feeling and everything I'm feeling is just, inside my head, I can't really put it into words, I can't really truly say how I feel, because honestly, it's like I'm immune to my pain, where to the point is, I don't know how to feel anymore, and it sucks, but you know, I just hope anybody out there, you know, afraid to talk about your problems with people around you that care. I just came to the point of my life where I just want the internet to know specifically what I want them to know about me. And many people out here watching me, you know, they don't know shit about me. They just know I picked up a camera, started doing YouTube. I post crazy shit. I mean, yeah. But truly, Nobody really knows me. I mean, you could say you know me from four or five years ago, but I'm not the same person anymore. I've never been the same person. And all I can say is, you know, I love you all. And, um, no, I'm not taking no damn break or none of that. (laughs) I ain't, I'm going to still be dropping reaction videos and shit like that. That's really the only videos I can do for right now. But um, I do appreciate everybody that, you know, tunes in, comments, and fuck. As always, IGP fam out. I'm going to fuck with you.